Robots in manufacturing handle their tools at high speed while maintaining consistent quality. They perform even complex tasks with high precision and apparent ease. In this video, let's learn about the most important robots in automation technology and get an introduction to robotics. Stay tuned. Kinematics is a part of mechanics and can be described as a theory of motion. Applied to the robot, this means describing the mechanical structure. Back to our robot. Its main axes are rotary, after which this robot is classified as 3R. In general, every industrial robot must have three main axes in order to be able to move freely within three-dimensional space. Moreover, we can describe the kinematics of this robot as serial, since all its axes build on each other. This robot, also called an articulated robot, is usually offered with three so-called main axes. It is used for complex assembly tasks, for example, contour welding, painting, etc. With another three hand axes, the tool can be rotated at the desired angle. One also speaks here of orientation. By the way, the terms roll, pitch, and yaw come from aviation. By the way, a simple trick can be used to give the robot another degree of freedom, namely by mounting it on a rail and letting it move around the room. The advantage is that the robot is better utilized and possibly can save you the cost of another robot. This rail can be on the floor, but often it is mounted on the ceiling. The workspace results from the kinematic structure of the robot and can be described as spherical. Okay, let's have a look how the robot works. Here you can see axis one, two, three, the main axis, uh, rotatory. We have here the tube package, which provides maybe the gripper or any tool on uh, axis six of the robot by electrical power. You can check the signals, uh, for example, for the gripper. You can provide uh, cooling water or um, uh, high power, whatever, yeah, maybe air. Whatever you need is here in the tube package. And let's, let's have a look how the robot works, uh, how it moves. Okay, this is axis one. One second. You see, it's rotatory. Now we have axis two, which also moves axis three, four, and five, and six. This is axis three. Can turn over in this kinematic. And the first hand axis is axis four. And the tube package is Moving with it, this is axis 5. And here we have axis 6. This means roll, pitch and chore. Okay, fine. Let's watch this SCARA insert these electronic devices into the box with high speed and accuracy. What makes this robot so unique? Let's look at this robot from the top view, where we can see how it gets to its high speed. As can be seen, the angular velocities of main axis one add up. As a result, we have a high speed at the tool center point. The robot has a circular workspace and can rotate almost 360 degrees. With a small foothold, the SCARA has a long reach. You get the SCARA with usually four degrees of freedom. If we look at the SCARA in the vertical plane, 
another advantage becomes apparent, namely, the mechanical rigidity in the vertical. Cartesian, or linear robots, consist of a manipulator mounted onto an overhead system that allows movement across a horizontal plane. Here, you see a gantry robot handling heavy weights. Due to its axis, this robot is perfect for pick and can complete these tasks across a large work area. Gantry robots are easy to program with respect to motion because they work with an XYZ coordinate system. The workspace has the shape of a rectangle. You can find this robot not only handling heavy weights, here, you see a SMD assembly system with a 3L kinematic. Robots with three linear axes provide the advantage of high positioning accuracy because the position of the axis can be measured directly. In a parallel robot, unlike robots with serial kinematics, the arm parts are not built on top of each other, but several axes act directly on a gripper platform to make it capable to move. These axes have a common fixed base. The number of these axes is between three and six and determines the designation of the parallel robot. Delta robots have three axes and a hexapod robot has six axes. All axes must move in a coordinated manner to move the tool to a specific working point. Parallel robots have a decisive advantage because the masses of the following links do not have to be carried. High dynamics and precision are possible. Typical applications of a Delta robot include pick and place tasks and assembly line tracking. The hexapod robot, which has a high level of rigidity with its six axes, is also suitable for processing tasks such as drilling, grinding, cutting, etc. The disadvantage here is the very limited working space. More information about robots can be accessed on our webpage. If you want to be updated about new videos, please subscribe to our channel.